Today I'll be talking about installing a different version of Linux on Crouton. When you run the uh, Crouton installation command over here, uh, this is the uh, example of installing Ubuntu. Download Crouton, uh, downloads to the download folder, and then you run the sudo command to make the Crouton file executable. And finally you run the this command over here, sudo crouton dash t. And uh, the dash t xfce, you can choose what kind of uh, desktop environment you want. So that you could change, dash t slash whatever else you want to do. Um, I think if you just do, let's, I'm going to open a Croche uh, session, pressing control alt t. And I'm going to do shell. So in my downloads folder over here, I'm going to go downloads. Hopefully I don't have anything bad in there. You'll see that I have crouton and I've already done the executable command. So uh, over here it mentioned, I mentioned something about doing the dash T command to choose which environment you want. So you can do sudo crouton dash T and it'll mention what you can do maybe i should have just done crouton dash t uh, same thing uh, so i'm going to do crouton dash t that lists okay there now you can choose this tells you what type of uh, desktop environments you can choose and in the example over here uh it mentions using x FCE, but here's all the different uh, desktop environments you can choose from besides XFCE. Uh, sorry to go move off. Uh, the original intent of making this video was I wanted to show uh, how you can install a different version of Linux on here. The default is Ubuntu LTS. The first thing you'll probably want to do is find out what different versions of Linux are available. So again, you call the crouton command and you do a dash R. It's actually in here in the, what's it called? Um, the the ex, ex, explanation page over here says, use the dash R parameter uh, to see which distribution list it is and just do crouton dash R list. So the, I'll do that. And you can see all the different ones that are available. I'm just making this video because uh, someone had asked how to how do I install Bullseye, which is what I did in the past. Um, I think that's what I'm running right. I'm running Debian right now. I forgot which. One. Yeah, it's Bullseye right over there. You see where I put my cursor. I actually installed Bullseye, and I, I like Bullseye. Uh, Debian just runs slightly faster. And then uh, Ubuntu, especially when I want to watch like YouTube and stuff, it runs a little smoother. Uh, maybe it's it, it could be related to what desktop environment I'm running also. But anyways, um, so you can use crouton r list to tell you what are the environments, uh, Linux environments you can install. And so if you want to install something else, you would just do the sudo crouton dash t x f c e. Okay, that's the environment that I'm gonna desktop environment I'm gonna install. And then at the very end, you just use dash r and put in the name of the Linux version you want to run. So in this case, bulls i and press enter. Uh, I think if I try this right now, it'll give me an error because I already have bullseye installed. So I'm gonna try it, and you can see. Bullseye has already stuff in, in, in it. Crouton Bullseye. Uh, I can update it or delete it. And in this um, tutorial page written by the guy who made Crouton, um, it does mention how you can update. I forgot how you do, do an update, but I just want to do a video on how you can install other versions of Linux. So just do the the command, the normal command to install as per the explanation page over here. sudo crouton dash t xfce and this part over here you can alternate 
you can alternate with a different desktop environment. I showed you you can do crouton-t list to list all the different desktop environments. Um, and then you just put dash r and then the name of the environment you install. So in, in, in theory, I could probably install, let's say, uh, let's say an Ubuntu, let's say Focal. It's, I think Star is, in, is unsupported. Let's say we should avoid, <laughs> try to look for one that's okay. So let's say I want to do a Kali release over here. So I could do Kali rolling if I wanted to. So that's it. Short video about this. Hopefully it helps someone out. Um, when I did this, I wasn't sure how to do it. So I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular person like you. Over and out.